Well, it is great to be back on Avenue J. Uh, this is where I got my start. As a young graduate from law school, I walked up and down Avenue J every day. People thought I lived at the Avenue J train station. Block was a little different then. The neighborhood was just becoming from. Uh, and then I did Avenue M and Kings Highway and Sheepshead Bay Road and um, Brighton Beach. I'm here a lot. You don't see me. I ride my bike here all the time. All the time to check what's going on. I walked the streets of this neighborhood back in 1975. There was one word on the lips of the people here. How many more years does this neighborhood have left? You may remember, not you little ones, but people my age, crime was ravaging our name. People worried. People sold their houses and moved. Not because they didn't think it was a beautiful neighborhood, but because they worried about the future. And my job was to fight for these communities, to be, if you will, what my name was, the show mayor of the community. Strengthened our yeshivas. Davo Stacher uh, played a big role in that because we didn't have that many from people, but we had Chaim Berlin and we had the Mira Yeshiva <coughs> and a little north of the district, we had Torah Vadas. And we knew if they were strong, the neighborhood would get strong. So we worked with them. And so we did many, many things. And the neighborhood, look at it. The property values, which is how you measure a neighborhood, was much higher today than it was then. And the property values in this community are not going down like they are in so many parts of America because it's a strong neighborhood that people want to live in. In fact, the complaint about this neighborhood now is it's so expensive that people can't afford a home. That's a lot better problem than it's so crime-ridden that no one would be able to sell a home. We help bring the Russians to the community in Brighton Beach. We got, again, some of our larger yeshivas and uh, shuls together, and they, um, we had a phone number. When a Russian got off the plane, you need an apartment? Look up, call this number. And that's how we filled up Brighton Beach and prevented it from going. Uh, we did a lot of things. And he gets things done. He's effective. And who does he fight for? He doesn't have some of these highfalutin ideals and gets lost in the stars. He works hard for the communities he represents. So I'm very proud to endorse. I'm very proud to endorse Lou. I hope everyone will come together for him. I hope everyone will work hard for him. You know, there's a little expression too, hakeres hatov, which means that you did good for me, I'm gonna do some good for you. Well, Lou did good for this community for a long time. And now it's time for the community that he's running for higher office to step up for him. And I hope and believe that Without they further ado, see this a poem. Without further ado, let me call on you. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Thank you. You know, um, I, I have to tell you, there are there are moments that you can be so proud of, and to have the endorsement of this man, this one of the most powerful people in the United States who is, I mean, couldn't said it better, has never forgotten where he came from. He's the same guy today, as powerful as he is, uh, as he was when he was in that barber shop taking that bet. And that is a lesson, you know, you, you know, people, I wasn't so smart in 1980, Chuck, I was smart. It was, you were loyal, things, things you were loyal. Were, yes, and, and things are for sure, you know? Right, for sure. Yeah. But if you're truly smart, you follow the examples of the people who are before you. I would like nothing more than when I am done with my career in public service to have people think and believe that I acted and conducted myself in the same way as Senator Chuck Schumer. In, in any event, folks. Please stop voting down party lines. Other than that, I'll and, vote for you. And you know what? You stop voting for just Democrats, I'll vote for you. Well, Senator you know, it's Senator a great... Schumer, same deal. 
You gotta go another way once in a while. All right. He needs and, some no, pizza. No, I'm serious. Why are you, I'm allowed to speak. You're allowed to That's speak. That's right. But, but, but this is the same stuff. You're out here every turn. single week, and you guys don't go right. any way but other than the party line. Whatever the party says, that's what you do. Nobody else will say that to you guys. That's why Turner won the other day, last month. Well, the, iron, the irony is that... And our Senator Chuck Schumer absolutely won't go along with that. Everybody will vote for the president. The, 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 irony, the irony is... This gentleman obviously for your obviously doesn't know me because he knows he would know how independent I am. Right? So you know, the fact of the matter is, I, I I will speak the truth to whomever is in office, whether they're in my party or not. And uh, you know, I, I am not embarrassed to say that I've stood on the floor of the New York City Council and I have reprimanded a member of my own party who's sitting in Congress, who I felt did not understand the Middle East in a vote that she cast, and I have said that it will never support her until and unless she does understand what's going on in Eretz Israel and who the good guys are and who the people are defending themselves from people who are strapping bodies to the bombs of to the, to the bodies of children and kill, killing innocent Israelis. And, and so, quite honestly, nice thought. Totally irrelevant. Can you comment on the new district lines? Are you happy well, with it? The, the, the lines that the Republicans in the state Senate have drawn are absolutely repugnant to small d democracy. It's the reason why people are so cynical about politics. You know, they have made Southern Brooklyn into a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, Ten years ago, for purely partisan reasons, they drew districts that were not compact, contiguous, divided communities. Uh, they've done that again. They made it even worse. I didn't think it was possible for them to make it worse. Someone has to explain to me why Marine Park and Bay Ridge are in the same district. It makes absolutely no sense. Why the Russian community is divided into five different Senate districts makes no sense. Why the communities that have always been traditionally in the same community boards and precinct councils are divided into three Senate districts makes no sense. This is why people are so cynical about the process and start to stay home, because they are tired of the games. An independent redistricting process was promised in writing, promised in writing by the Republicans in the state Senate. They've broken that promise, and they seem to be unashamed of it. Shame How on them. How important is it for Democrats to take back the state Senate, in your opinion? Well, I think it's very important because particularly uh, when you're fighting for the middle class, which is, you know, what is the theme, I think, of elections in New York State and in the country? It's that average middle class people are not doing as well as they did five and ten years ago, whether they're here in Brooklyn or up in Buffalo. Um, and I represent both, as you know. And the Democratic Party fights hard for the middle class. It doesn't lose sight. You know, there are lots of different battles that go on. And some are, everyone's on the side of the middle class, and, you know, there are some issues that don't have anything to do with middle class or not. But there are a lot that do. And to have the Democrats in charge and focus like a laser on helping middle class people and people trying to be middle class makes a great deal of sense. Senator, the other day you referred to the Buffett rule mistakenly as the Romney rule. Is yes. that a phrasing you're going to continue using? The Romney, I mean the Buffett rule is a very important thing. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, Councilman, you, you make complaints about your opponent having ties with hate groups. I'm wondering if you have any reconsideration about the way you phrased it or, or the line of cr criticism. You know, Ozzy, uh, you know, I want to answer that. You know, and my campaign folks probably tell me I should. Uh, I never, ever, ever did or would have called David Starobin a neo Nazi. You know, I'm not so internet savvy that I use the word ties instead of links. Um, I have never once raised this in public. He continues to raise it in public, call himself insulted, and ask for an apology. Um, the one thing I would say on the subject is if Lou Fiddler had the poor taste to interview a white separatist not once but twice and write about it, by the time I was finished writing about it, people would know that I would found the views of a white separatist to be so repugnant that it wouldn't be linked on Stormfront. So, you know, if he's misunderstood, I'm sorry for that, but, you know, he's trying to make an issue out of things that are really not all that relevant to the people who live in this district who are more concerned with whether we're going to have safe streets, 
mean streets, whether or not they're going to be able to afford yeshiva tuition for their kids, how good our public schools are, whether our parks are maintained, uh, all of those issues. David Sterobin seems to want to talk about anything else. I wonder why. Councilman, you did send out a press release uh, repeating the, the ties comment earlier this week. Uh, isn't that also talking about it? It was a response to a press conference yes. that he held. Okay. All right. Again, he and he's responding to comments I had made to a group of young Democrats in a rally at a bar. All right, where I thought we were in a private room, and the, the term I used may have been, you know, look. If I was 25, I'm sure I would have said links instead of ties. I I wish I was 25. <laughs>